As Joe mentioned, joining us for this morning to talk about the banking crisis and the Fed is former Treasury Secretary under President Obama, Jack Lew. He also served as White House Chief of Staff and as the Director of the Office of Management and Budget. And, Secretary, thank you for being here. Um, we all know that as tre Treasury Secretary, you couldn't say anything other than you support the strong dollar policy. Um, you're not Treasury Secretary anymore, and I just wonder what you think when you look around at everything that's happening in the banking world right now. Good to be with you this morning, Becky. Uh, in, under circumstances that we all wish we weren't talking about. Um, the, the strong dollar is fundamentally a reflection of a strong U.S. economy. Oh, I'm kidding yeah. about the strong so, dollar. I just I, mean you I, can I, say I, what you want I, I, th I think, you know, that th you would say as a private citizen what you would say as Treasury Secretary, I think. Um, in a situation like this, uh, obviously, uh, as, as Secretary of the Treasury, uh, you're f fairly limited what you can say. Um, so I, I, I come to you today in, in a different capacity. So what do you think? Uh, look, I, th I think fundamentally, we still don't know exactly what happened. The forensics are going to continue. Every day, we're seeing more details come out. Um, what is clear is that you had some banks that got into a difficult position. Um, what you don't know for sure is whether the things that could have been done to prevent it. I think the actions that were taken last weekend were effective in terms of saying we're going to do what we have to do to stabilize the situation uh, within a system of limited uh, discretion. Uh, the regulators only have so much flexibility and the systemic uh, exception where they said there was financial stability uh, risk was the basis for stepping in. So I think they've done a good job with the tools that they have. It, is it concerning, though, to continue to see the regional banks, not only their stock prices drop, but deposits, um, deposits continue to leave those banks? If, if they had done most of what they were able to do in a very limited framework, was it enough? Well, I actually think you're seeing the, uh, the deposit outflow change. Uh, last week it slowed considerably. Whether it's enough uh, remains to be seen, but I do think that the action they took had the effect that was intended to stop the outflow. You have this mismatch between what's happening with deposits and what's happening with stock <coughs> prices, and it's fundamentally because the risk to shareholders uh, remains real uh, out there. Um, you know, I think the fact that they did the backstop to protect depositors was the right thing to do. I don't think there's a way to ensure shareholders uh, that the value will not are, go are down. Are all depositors insured at this point or not? Because there's been some questions <laughs> about whether this was an implicit guarantee from the Fed, but can they do that? Can they not? And Janet Yellen, the Treasury Secretary now, has basically said we can't. Well, I think what they did is they went to the extent of the authority that they have to protect depositors. That's a powerful signal. Uh, I don't think it's effective for policymakers to say we can do things we can't do. They don't have the power to just announce we're going to guarantee all depositors. They will have to make a case-by-case -case decision of whether the systemic risk warrants that action. I think the but, signal that they sent was that the threshold for systemic risk is not that high right now.